Moon Knight, episode two has released and it is dropped on Disney Plus right now. I was really excited to see the show and it delivered last episode. I thought it delivered, so I decided to look up this character a little bit more and get some background information so I don't I don't get a little confused about what goes on, about who is Mark, you know, who is who is Steven. Looks like they're doing a pretty good adaptation in the Disney Plus show. Mark and Steven, they appear to be the same the same person in flesh and bone. It's just the identity is different, hence the disassociative identity disorder that he's dealing with. Khonshu is a god. He's the Egyptian god that we saw last episode. And in the comics, Mark died in the desert. So Khonshu takes over Mark and he becomes this, uh, his avatar is Moon Knight on Earth. It seems like the identity disorder thing was to cover up his alter ego. But in this, it looks like we're just going to be seeing Steven first. And he's going to be talking about, oh, I don't know who I am. Who's Mark? And I think it was a pretty good introduction so far. I hope we get some really cool action scenes. The the costume looks so good. It looks so clean, looks smooth. Doesn't look any, doesn't look weird. Some some costumes in CGI can look really weird on the MCU especially, but this looks really good and I hope we get to see more of it, of course. Uh, let's get right into this. I'll talk afterwards, you know how it goes. It It looks really cool. It looks really cool. And this looks like a really different show compared to the other ones. It, it looks like it could really be its own thing instead of relying so much on the MCU, which, you know, connections are cool and all, but I do appreciate a good origin story about what, what really happened and how a hero comes to be. I feel bad for him, but he's... He might gain control with Mark. Mark might help him. And, yeah, that's me. Oh, yeah. Watch, here it comes. Yeah, nothing's gonna be there. Are you crying? A bit. Yeah, a bit. Watch. Here it comes. Wait for it. Wait He's for seeing it. monsters, dude. How long am I waiting? D different angle, yeah. Different, different. Yeah, yeah, that's it, that's it. Wait for it. Here it comes. Mm, now wait. Why are you going? What are you doing, you donut? <laughs> just a minute. You, do <laughs> you donut. Wait, wait, wait. No, just a minute. You messed up the loose. Oh, mate. That looks bad, doesn't it? Uh, it's just gonna be him. It's just gonna be him coming out. Still you, bro. That's not him. That's Mark. That's not me. You can see the difference in the acting and the personalities. It's so cool. A particular group of doctors has a long-standing relationship with us. Doctors? This is hard, dude. That's like... This This is kind of real. This this happens with people. They don't know who they are and... Yeah, I should have been arrested. That's not a statue. I did, I did find things hidden in my flats. I swear, I'm not, I'm not joking. Yo, I thought that was a statue. That's like an actual person. Of course, I know you. Number 43, right? I never forget a face. Okay, Mark was here before. Him. Wait a minute. I'm sorry. Can I scan that? What? I'm sorry, but this just brought me to a comic, like a Moon Knight, Moon Knight comic thing. What the? F Yo. You can scan that. <laughs> what the f Are there gonna be like weapons in here? He's not gonna have any idea what to do. Yup! <laughs> yup, weapons. Whoa. What, what, am I like meant to be some sort of mad secret agent? His accent, yeah, isn't it? More complicated, more complicated. what? Am I, am I possessed? Are you like a, a, a demon? You're or? in danger, and I can save us. Just like I did last night. But I can't have you interfering in what I have left to do. This is what's gonna happen. And then bam, I go bonkers. Oh god, I'm having a panic attack. I'm having a panic attack. This is what happens when vegans eat steak. <laughs> oh, I think. But that deal is contingent on you not interfering, Stephen. Now give me the body. Let me finish this, and you'll never hear from me again. You, you see him through body? the gun. Holy crap. Right, yeah. Mark, how about this for a deal? I'm gonna take this bag full of illegal shit, yeah? <sighs> oh! 
Dude, that thing gave me chills last episode, and it's still giving me, like... It's like horror imagery. Just... <laughs> I hate getting chased. Oh, that's cool. The shadow. Looked like his... Oh my god. That thing is huge. That's Khonshu. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, so I guess Mark is like the... Uh, Yeah, Mark put on, she think, that's, that's what it is. Mark put on this alter ego, Steven. Or that's, at least that's what she thinks. To hide his identity. That's tough, man. And he has no idea. Steven, this personality, that has no idea. The Man in the Ice. I just saw a book. I might be overthinking. Maybe The Man in the Ice was a book created in the MCU. For Captain America. I don't know how to explain what's been happening, Stephen. I don't expect you to believe me. I, I, I listen to you. Honestly, don't really believe myself. All I can do is try to. You're making a mistake. I'm trying to show you Steve what I found. Yeah, Stephen. Like this bag. I Stephen, this bag don't. In the storage locker. Stephen, right. listen to me. He's gonna look crazy. Stop what you're doing right now. All sorts of get away from the bag. Don't disturb me and my fish. Me and my fish. So, um, yeah. Is this about the toilet? Because, <laughs> um, it's been dealt with, yeah? I've been. Mark Spector? That's not mine. Only that. Fella looks just like you. Not good. Fake passport and a thief. Best come with us. Dude, he has no idea, and it's terrible. Like this, that's fucked up. Wow, looky, looky. Guess what we've got here, Billy? What? Tell me. We've only got ourselves a full-blown international fugitive. Stop. That's a mistake. Yeah, he died at that dig site. There. Shot in the back of the head. Execution style. That's dark. It's really comic accurate here. Ever. Do you hear me? Pull the back. <laughs> yep. Here he is. Okay, what is it? Do you see him? You see him right now? That's a privilege I no longer have. Kill him. What's he saying? Wow. We share That's so cool. It's just watching over him. That's so cool. I, I know being on the right side of things is important to you. They might be after. Tries to ensnare those with a strong moral They're like after him. You have no conscience. You don't have to listen to him. He often throws temper tantrums like a two-year-old. So they know about Konshu. He's banished. I only punish those who have already done harm. I am real justice. Okay, real justice, and he thinks he's done harm. Yeah, already walked an evil path. His retribution comes too late. By the time his fist of vengeance arrives. Did those people have redemption? Suffered. People have already suffered. Oh. Ahmed knows this too well. She tears evil up from the root, casting her judgment. Before any evil's done. Okay. Scare up. He functions as a kind of compass. I don't know if you want to trust him. To Ahmed's tomb. Oh, so he took the scarab. Waited. Longing. Because she might actually be evil. While the cruel masses Yeah. To face her judgment. And in the wake of their screams. I think about killing my boss. 
all the time. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> what, what about a child? Oh. Kill a child for something they might do in thirty years. I'm glad you mentioned that. Sometimes the cure is a little taste of the disease. The difference between medicine and poison sometimes is only dosage. Dosage. Consider a diseased limb. See, so that's why. Horrific don't give it to him. Task that is necessary. There's not real justice. Be careful. You couldn't possibly understand the value of what you're holding. Oh. Oh. Listen to me. Your name is Mark. Come on. Come on. He's so scared, bruh. Oh my goodness. Oh, he can only see it? Oh, okay. Whoa. <laughs> Yo, okay. What the hell? She said I made it a suit. Yeah, the ceremonial armor from Conscious Temple, not Psycho Colonel Sanders. I don't know I need a suit less. I think it's sharp, man. All right. Dude, it's kind of sharp. It's kind of, kind of fly. So it looks like this is Steven's suit, not Mark's suit, I'm guessing. Dude, this like... <laughs> you see this in real life? Be so confused. I'm gonna get hurt if you don't let me help. All right, do it. Take control for now. Gonna get the actual suit now. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Get it out of here. You gonna see him in action? Whoo, that looks cool. That looks good. Okay. Of course the moon. like of a voice in your head he's beating himself up I'm grateful Mark altering the terms of our agreement you were nothing more than a corpse when I found you you think you owe this body <laughs> Find the scarab. Too late. Arrow has it. Yeah. Find another way. Should we part, you may not like my next candidate. Near and dear as she is to you. 
Wow, okay. Where are we going? Where the hell do you think? I assume that's where the tomb is. There we go. Yeah, so for those who are still tuning in and know about my channel, my reactions, and what I like about shows is backstory and explaining things. They did a good job. This is literally an origins. It's not origins, not showing exactly how Mark became Moon Knight, but it's talking about it. It's talking about why Steven is Steven, who Mark actually is, and just, just why Steven really exists. He It's like an alias, really. Mark was dead, and of course, this is the avatar of Kanshu, the god who found him as a corpse, as a mercenary. He's using him, and Mar Steven is the, the alias. Mark is actually the body, though. Like, it's... That's who it was. I felt bad for Steven. I really thought Steven was Steven. <laughs> I thought that was him, but it seems like it was actually Mark who was the, the real body beforehand, before Steven even existed. As confusing as that might sound, but Mark has always had this disassociative identity disorder where he's... I guess he's really dealing with this and struggling with it and it's pretty realistic to my knowledge like that's it's sad you know you you don't know who you are your life is always changing and switching you you feel like you don't know who you are every second of the day and they're doing a pretty good job with this tying it into the MCU um I don't know how they're going to do that tying it in they, he might be part of the Avengers we might see some of the Avengers I did see a little Easter egg about the man in the ice. There was a book on his bookshelf when uh, it was Stephen and his Layla. Yeah, Layla and Stephen were inside of the apartment and it said the man in the ice. I don't know what that's about. Can't be a coincidence. It's it's Marvel, so it has to be about maybe, uh, I don't know when this takes place, but probably about Captain Rogers and what happened in Captain America. I hope we get to see more of Mark as Moon Knight and hopefully Steven doesn't try to take over too much because that that Moon Knight is what I wanted to see. That costume is actually the Moon Knight costume that we're seeing and it's it's so cool. It just looked, it looked really fluid. He's gonna have to prevent Arthur from getting the scarab because he's gonna activate an evil power, an evil entity, and it looks like that's, that's the premise of the show. It looks like we already have the premise. It's six episodes, so we have four left and it looks like that's it. That's, that's going to be it, and that's fine. That That's a good introduction for this character right here. We're going to see his powers. We're going to see how he operates. We're going to see how Mark and Steven are working together. They're going to be working together, I'm pretty sure. But the, at first, they're just going to be having these these bantering back and forth about, no, this is my body. And then Khonshu is going to be hovering over and kind of overlooking how this all works. So I'm 100% I'm down with this show. I like it so far. If I had any issue, really, I think the only thing is I just hope we don't see Steven trying to take over Moon Knight because... That Moon Knight wasn't really appealing to me personally. But other than that, it was really well done. And that was just my honest opinion. So with that being said, this will be it. Thank you for tuning in so far. If you liked and subscribed, thank you so much. It really does help me out. And this is fun. I get to sit down and just do this. I love Marvel. And of course, I have other anime reactions that I'm doing. So thank you for tuning in. That'll be it. Uh, see you guys next week for the Moon Knight Episode 3 reaction. Take care. Bye-bye.